Hi everyone, it's Gail. I am here with sort of a, a retreat uh, download of information. <laughs> I just, I wanted to share with you several things. Uh, what I got at the retreat, gifts and things I purchased and that sort of thing. Um, I have some exciting giveaway information. I have um, an antique and a flea market haul. And then I wanted to show you the projects that I com completed at the retreat. So lots to do, but I think we can just get it all in in one video. But before we start, I want to say hi and hugs to Catherine, Eve, Lynn, Deb, Sheila, Jen, and Janita. Those are the lovely ladies that I spent the last five days in retreat with. And so we had so much fun that we decided next year we're going to do a full week, a Monday to Monday. So <laughs> we just couldn't get enough and it wasn't, it, we, we weren't ready to say goodbye yet. So anyway, so next year we're going to extend it a little bit. So, um, let's get started. I wanted to show you, you know, we, at, when we very first got there, we had, uh, kind of a lot of us brought gifts for for everyone. I brought for everyone I brought um a little wallpaper pouch that I purchased from Lori at Grammy's Keepsakes on Etsy and I filled it with a little bag journal that I had made and a couple other goodies for um yeah, for everyone. And so others did that and then we purchased things from each other. It was like we were just exchanging money back and forth, back and forth. It was hilarious. But uh, so I'll show you some of those treasures as well. Oh, and I need to also say hi and hugs to Michelle. Michelle was kind of our day crafter. She came over. Um, she lives about a half an hour away and she came over during a couple of the days because I have, I have things that she brought me too. Okay, so let's get started. Um, hopefully you were able to watch my last video, which was my, my first face-to-face -face with you all. And then also um, an interview with my friend, Jen Bishop. So let's kind of start with Jen. So Jen had this big bag of goodies for each one of us, which was awesome. So in there, we each got some sort of a little notebook. Um, this is mine. It's got a pencil holder and it's got um, post-it notes and dividers and paper. Paper, lots of paper. So there was that. There was also a box full of candy and chips, which I can't show you because they are gone. <laughs> Yes, treats were a major part of this retreat. And then the third thing, oh my gosh, it's killing me. And if you watch the interview, you know about this, but Jen is designing paper now for um, Blue Fern Studios. And she brought us her very first 12 by 12 collection. I'm looking at it thinking there's probably about, oh, I bet there's 20 pages in there. Anyway, it is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous paper. So, but it's not released yet, not for a month. So I'm keeping it intact. I'm not playing with it or anything. I'm going to wait until Jen gives me the go ahead and then I will share that with you and, um, and you'll be able to purchase that, um, uh, at that time. So. So those were, that was the gifts from Jen. Well, Jen, bless her heart, she also brought a full suitcase of things from her shop that we could purchase if we wanted. And of course, she gave us the retreat discount. <laughs> so I wanted to show you, like this is one of Jen's stamps. We talked about this in the interview too. So isn't that as fabulous kind of as it comes? And then I purchased this one. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And one is um, the text stamp. And then the text stamp is separate. And then this is another stamp. And then this one, too. And you can see I've used that one already. Okay. So, but what's really cool 
is Jen um, signed signed my the back of my little stamp thing. And so, Gail, create art and take flight on dragon's wings. Hugs, Jen Bishop. So that is that's the first one. I won't put these back in the sack. I'll just stack them up and put them away in a minute. And then um, this one, she <laughs> she probably had trouble coming up with new things to say to me because I was like, oh, I'm going to buy this one. So will you sign this one? <laughs> yeah, it was fun. And she signed other people's too. Gail, create, dream, imagine, hugs, Jen Bishop on this one. And then my and then my giant one, which I also used at the retreat, and it is a fabulous stamp. I love it so much. It's got ladies' faces, well, ladies' faces and roses and dragonflies and the word. Oh, it's just awesome. Okay, and it says, Gail, you are such a doll. I had so much fun crafting with you at the retreat. Hugs, Jen Bishop. So, so I have I have autograph stamps. How cool is that? Um, and then Jen also has at, on her, on her website, you can purchase other craft supplies too, not just the ones that she has, you know, has had a hand in. So I got this fun little sewing stamp set. I loved that with the different stitches. So I haven't used that yet, but that'll be fun. And then I got a Tim Holtz that I didn't have. It's called Skulls and Cobwebs. I mostly got it for this one. Um, I didn't really realize it had skulls in there, but I don't know. They just look, it just looks like a damask to me. So that's, that's good. Then I got some Tim Holtz stencils that I didn't have. Um, do they, does he name these? I don't think he names them. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, just he numbers them. So this one's set 29, this one's set 13. So pick those up. Then she had TCW um, stencils. So I got this one um, with the words like correspondence, word, ink, and the ink. I thought that was really fun. This one is has a heart and, and just some little squigglies that I thought were fun. And then I used this one on a couple things with the rose and the French. So fun. Um, <clears throat> this is an Anna Griffin one. It's called whatever that word is. So <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what that word is. You'll have to stop the video and look at it. Um, and then this one was super fun. I played with this a lot. I'll show you when I show you what I made. So there was that. And then there was this Gabrielle Polico one that is a 12 by 12. And I used these a little bit. It, it's, it's a fun one too. So there you go. I just had way too much fun in Jen's. <laughs> <laughs> in Jen's suitcase. Oh, it was so fun. But I so was appreciative that she brought goodies that we could that we could buy and play with at the retreat. So um so we did that. We did that with Jen. I think that's it on that. I will um put her the link below to her uh website and um and her Etsy shop too. And her YouTube. Why not, right? So, okay, so that was Jen, and then um, and then my new friend, Sheila Gingrich. Sheila is, you will know her as Boho Daydreams on um, Facebook, and she gave each of us a big old bundle. Mine's all torn apart because I used pieces of it in the things I was creating, but um, she gave us each a big old bundle of all of her boho yumminess <laughs> and so she gave us trims little appliques i used one of those already i used some of this already and oh look at this one isn't that gorgeous and yeah just just a whole bunch of pieces bits and pieces of boho-ness so, and I also, I ordered a trim um, 
bundle from Sheila just because I thought that was really fun. So yeah, she's Boho Daydreams on Facebook. So I will, um, I will just remind you of that in the description box below. And for those of you who don't know about the description box while we're thumbing through this, I'm just going to tell you that right under the video, there's a spot and there's a little um, arrow that's over on the top right. If you click on that, a description box opens up and it will have links to things I'm talking about. It'll, um, you know, I, I try and always post, you know, who, who I'm talking about and where you can find them. So, um, oh, look at this lace. Isn't that so pretty? Ooh, just yummy. So several laces and anyway, I won't go through the entire thing because she just, she gave us so much, but it's just all yummy silks. Oh, geez. I better pull that one out to show you that one's, that one's fancy. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, um, and Sheila doesn't have an Etsy or anything, but she just kind of takes orders on her Facebook page. So, um, you'll have to pop on over there and see, see what she has. So, that was from Sheila. So fun. So fun to play with. Okay, and then I'll show you what Michelle gave me. Michelle came... Uh, for a couple days, she just kind of went back and forth. Like I say, she only lived about a half hour away. And she gave me some more of her fun watercolor um, uh, 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 jelly, print, jelly plate prints. And they're just, they're just really so pretty. I love the turquoise. She knows I love turquoise. Here's an Italian dictionary. And then... Um, a piece of music and then she gave me a little little card thanks for all the nice things you do and wrote in it and has bunnies on it so those were the those were the paper things from Michelle and then in the little town where we had the retreat there's this fun little um, antique store called Black Dog Antiques and she had visited it prior to the retreat and she found this little box and I, I think if I get this up to the camera can you see how pretty that is and like it's like I think this is Bakelite maybe yeah and and so it's like it was a velvet box that was kind of a rust colored velvet but it's worn off oh I just love it. It's such a pretty box. So I'll be keeping bits in there. But um, for right now, Michelle uh, put in some fabrics for me. So some lace and, and stuff. So yeah. So anyway, that was my, that was my gift from Michelle. That was so fun. And then um, another thing I purchased <laughs> was Jen's mom, Janita, made these gorgeous envelopes. And she used Jen's designs in them, but I just loved them. So I purchased them. And I think um, she made lots and lots of these in different sizes. And I think she will be um, putting these on Jen's website to sell once, you know, once everybody gets recovered from the retreat and stuff. So they're embossed, they're stamped on, they're collaged on, and I just thought they were beautiful. And of course, there was a bunny one, so you know I had to had to jump on that one. But, you know, and old stamps on them. I mean, she just layers and layers. Here's here's a a sewing stamp there which is perfect. A sewing stamp is perfect for envelopes. So I, um, so I purchased those from my new friend, Janita, who I absolutely adore. We really did. Um, we really did hit it off. It was so fun. So that's Janita. So, um, keep on the lookout at, uh, Jen's, um, Jen's website for that 
dreams, etc. Okay. Then my friend Eve, she she gave me this beautiful pouch and in it she had this had this wonderful folio that she made for me. And it opens up and it's got a couple of little um, pockets with tags in there. And then this opens up a little pocket there. This opens up a little pocket there. This opens this way. And, and then this is just, this is the paper. But isn't that so cute? It's so cute. So, yeah. I was, of course, looking at it to see, oh, yeah, this, this flips and that flips. Yeah. So it's got like two little flippies there, two little flippies there, and then two flippies there. And then, yeah. So that's my friend Eve Spade, and I will put her information below as well. And that brings us to the giveaway. So my friend Eve is, she's Eve Spade on YouTube. It's S-P-A-I-D. And she is Collective Chickadee on Etsy. Again, I'll have all this below in the description box. But she and I came up with a fun little, um, a little contest or a little giveaway. So Eve made a whole bunch of these, she calls them um, naked journals. <laughs> and they're like all ready, the, the cover's all done. And the signatures are all in here. There's three signatures, beautifully done, you know, with yummy coffee stains and um, little, like this, I think this is a pocket. Yes, I can't get my fingers on, to work on it. But anyway, there we go. This is a little pocket. Um, there, here's a bag in here. And um, each, each signature kind of has the, the same things. It's already, as to quote Eve, it's already to pimp out. <laughs> so um, it's a naked journal ready to go. And Eve has, um, has offered to do a giveaway on her station um, just for my subscribers. And there's, she's going to give three of these journals away to three of you lucky people. And, um, so in order to get into the giveaway, you need to comment on the video of Eve's that is called Decorative Edge Corset Spine Journal. She's, she's giving away, I think she's giving away those journals too, but to, in order to get into my giveaway, you have to comment on that video and say, um, that you watched Gail and, um, that Gail sent you over to, uh, to comment, uh, to comment, just mention that you saw Eve's journals and the giveaway offer on my channel, on Gail's channel. So, Keyword Gail in there. <laughs> and she's going to give three, three of these away to, to my viewers. So let's see what else. Um, oh, the decorative edge cor corset spine, um, journal. First of all, you've got to see it. It's gorgeous, but she's going to give away three of those covers to, um, to, uh, commenters on that video. But then if you, if you have, a reference to me and she's going to give three of these full journals away. Okay. Let's see if I got everything. So yeah, she just added, added the, um, additional three naked journals. And then she made a bunch of these at the, at the, uh, retreat. So if you're not lucky enough to win one, she is going to have them listed in her Etsy. So, uh, you'll have to go over to Collective Chickadee. Um, you're going to have to give her a little time getting back from the, getting back from the, uh, retreat, but she's going to list a bunch of journals. She's kind of, she hasn't been too active in her Etsy and she is going to, she's going to up her action in her Etsy. So you guys, I have, um, I have a B journal that Eve made me last year and Eve just does 
awesome work. She's just a beautiful, beautiful artist. So, so try and get in on that. So that is the, that is my sort of all of my gifts and purchases and things that I did at the retreat. And then, like I say, we had ourselves a little flea market and, um, antique store haul. So let's see. I don't know. It probably doesn't matter which was where I have. See, this is the, this is the antique store, Black Dog Antiques, the best friend your home ever had. <laughs> they do have a website, www.blackdogantique.com. I haven't visited it, but it might be worth visiting. So, um, so let's, let's just look at my little purchases here. Well, this came from the uh, flea market, at, which was outside. This is some drywall tape. And I have some of this in um, like a turquoise color, but this was kind of a grungy, um, grungy yellowed color. So um, I'm going to use this in some layering. So I, and I already did in some of the things I made. So that was fun. I actually got four of these at the flea market and um, I ar have already used one in the stuff I was working on at the retreat. Just some little, just some little laces there. And then this, oh my gosh, you guys, I got this at the antique store. Look at this runner. I'm going to make a digital of this because it is, it's like it's coffee dyed colors already. <laughs> And it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. Can you see all the detail on that? So super excited about that. Um, I was so tempted to use it in some of the things I was making, but I didn't because I want to do a digital of it. So there was that. And then I got a bunch of other doilies that I thought I might scan. So there's one. This one, I love this. Um that I thought I might scan. It's got, it's got cutouts, but I think it'll, I think it'll scan nicely. So we'll see if it doesn't, I won't put it up. This one I loved. I just want, I want this part, I want that part to play with. It's really fun. It's really nub, nubby. And then, um, the lace on the edge is just in perfect condition too. So that was a fun one. I thought I, this little dish towel, I thought this part would be really fun to scan. So did got that. And then I loved this too. I loved this little runner. Has um, just really fun little, I don't know how I might want to do that. But anyway, anyway, that's another one. So I have, I have some scanning and sharing to do so that was that was my first bag i'm gonna pop these in the there just so that i can corral them on my floor here um so that one and then i got of course a bunch of books so first of all i got this at the flea market this old scrapbook and it's pa I, I bought it for the paper it's really um, yellowed and pretty. This is going to be great um, backing for tags and journal cards and stuff. So got that. It says 15 cents up here. I paid a dollar for it. Yep, that's how that goes. <laughs> okay, and then I got, um, I got this at the flea market too. This is, it's just a, a music book. But um, I thought I, I'm kind of getting low on my music. So I, I got this. I think it was a dollar too. So that was good. And then I don't, I don't remember how much I paid for this. Maybe it's in here. Five dollars. But this Western Garden book. And um, it just has, it has really kind of neat paper. It's kind of thin. I think it will coffee dye up nicely. So um, it doesn't have a lot of picture pictures. It has some at the beginning um, on the slick paper, you know.
but they're definitely pages that I can use. And those, I thought those were pretty. So a lot of pages that I could use, I thought. Anyway, all that to say, oh, look, here's somebody's note of what they want to buy. That's fun. Um, so anyway, anyway, that's my, that's my little gardening book purchase. And I was thinking the size of it would be really nice for a glue book as well. So I'm kind of getting a hankering to make some of those again. Okay, and then one more little sack of books. You guys, I have a book problem. I really do. It's like, where am I going to store all these? <laughs> and I, but I don't think that when I'm at the antique store or flea market, I'm like, oh, that's cool. So a shortcuts to sewing. I have had one of these before, and um, they're just, they're really cool books. They're copyrighted 1930 um so so yeah i i purchased that i probably paid too much for it but it'll be fun in a sewing journal uh then i found these children's actually i didn't find them my friend Catherine did and she's like gail there's some children's books shopping enabler that she was um, this one's copyright 1939 and, um, you know, of course it has the wonderful illustrations and look at this little guy. He's in knickers. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, there's just, there's just fun having fun with books. Oh, their p faces got drawn on children. Didn't your mother ever teach you not to write in a book? Well, at least not till it's made into a journal, right? <laughs> so anyway, that's, I love the cover of this one too. And then there's this one, also loved the Alice and Jerry books, Through the Green Gate. And this one has absolutely fabulous illustrations in it. Look at this. Yeah. Yeah. Just wonderful. So I don't know, you guys. I have a bajillion things to put on my Etsy. And if I can part with them, I, I may go ahead and put... Look at the circus. Um, I may go ahead and part... Now, that's a creepy clown. That is super creepy. But anyway, so I may go through my children's primers because I have way too many and put them on. Um... This one is a Dickens Digest, it's called. And the book is just, um, oh, that's, uh, the book is just really just a plain green, nothing fancy. But why I bought this was for the pages. It's um, got the rough edged pages and they're a wonderful yellowed, yellowed paper and since it's Dickens I know there's no bad words in here or anything so I kind of got this one for the paper inside is what I've my friend Lynn is absolutely horrified she's a Dickens fan not that she hasn't torn apart her share of books but she's like ah no Dickens <laughs> so anyway this one is another Dickens and I bought it for the cover I think that will make a beautiful journal so, um, lots of pages here too. They're not as aged, but they are a really, a really nice weight. Uh, it's kind of a thinner page. So, so there's that. So that is, um, what I purchased at the flea market and the antique store. We had ourselves a little Actually, it was kind of a power shop because we really wanted to get back and craft. So there was that. Okay, I'm just going to take a second and move this bag and pull over the bag that of all the stuff I make. Okay. I don't know where to start, really. I think I'll start here. So, oh, goodness. Okay, yeah, I'll start right here. 
So you have seen the, I've shown the, all of these digital kits and I, I linked the people below, um, the video when I did this. So I'm not going to link them again only because I'd have to go back and research and everything. And I really do want my friends links in this video. But one of the things I did is I put together signatures from the digital kits that I had been given. So I am ready to just make, make journals. So there's two poppy ones here. And then this one, um, has these these pretty ladies and then the ephemera is with it that needs to be cut out so I have three journals worth there I have another one here and I just I just went through and grabbed coffee dyed papers and some um, kool-aid dyed or writ dyed papers coffee dyed papers little Edith Holden, but it's all ready to go into a journal. And then there's the ephemera with that one. Then this one is two, um, two window kind of really awesome digitals. And, um, yeah. So if I can easily find the the creator of these digitals i believe these were the ones that Lori goodman this might be Elz, Elzy bell's bookshelf i'm not sure i'll 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 do it I'll, t I'll take the time and try and find who these all came from but so i have one two three four five six six guts of journals ready i just need to do covers and i've been saying we were going to have a covers day anyway so I think we'll do that at some point. Okay, so I'm not going to flip through all these because they will be, um, I will flip through them when I'm ready to put them on Etsy. But I finished the circus journals. You may applaud now. <laughs> so yes, I got my four circus journals, circus journals done. And, um, but you know, I was, I was in the midst of my ladies and talking and whatever. So I want to go back through them one more time. Just make sure I got everything in there that I wanted to get in there and that kind of stuff. And then these will be ready to put on Etsy. Did some things like cleaned up the in, um, the inside of the, inside of the books, um, you know, put pockets in, did some, edging on on the edges and that kind of thing um added pockets and and fun things to them this one i just i i had some of these from happy mail and i put on the edge i'm loving that and um cleaned up the this was all ripped up so i put some paper down and cleaned up the inside and and yeah so so my uh circus journals are done they will be in etsy one day one day soon and i of course will do a flip through video at that time so that's those i'm gonna um yeah yeah i'm gonna i'll share those i'm just gonna get out the rest of this stuff so i don't have to keep bending over all the time let's see okay oh my goodness so the box that my treats came in from Jen came in real handy for holding things that I got done. So um, you guys kind of gave me a bad time about all the stuff I was taking, but I um, I was glad I had it all because I really I really got a lot done. Okay, so let's just I'll stick these over. Yeah, these I don't know. We'll figure that out. Okay. So then I did eight traveler's notebooks. All done. All decorated up and everything. So um, so they were living in my treat box. <laughs> it was great. It was a great holder. So I'll just kind of show you the covers. But again, when I get ready to list these on my Etsy, I will um I will definitely 
uh, I will definitely let you know. I used my bags that we made before the retreat in these. So um, there's this one. There's this music one that, um, and I used the bags. I used some of the bling that I got from Sheila, the, the blingy trim in these as well. Um, here's one with a birdie. I kind of love this one because it's got the blingy trim and then it's got some kind of rustic trim. So I sort of like the, the contrast there. There's this one. Oh my gosh, look at this trim. Is that not gorgeous? Oh, yeah. And um, so, so yeah. And, you know, and there's, there's pockets and belly bands. And there's the stencil, the new stencil that I did use that there. Um, this one's more of kind of a travel type one. And, um, and so it, it was, it was a fun one too. Belly band and journaling cards and stuff. Just, you know, the usual. And this one, this one's fun. And yeah, just some, let's see, I, I had this, I brought this along. I tried to use in these um, some of the ephemera that I pulled out of my ephemera box because I was um, hoping to use some of that up. And so I grabbed the bags and I grabbed some, you know, other tags and things, some other journaling cards that I had in my stash. And so got those all done. Love this one too with the neutrals. I think it's so fun. And this one has this little guy in it. And, um, you know, it's just pockets and things that I had. So I have eight traveler's notebooks. So we'll be, we'll be putting those on Etsy once I get myself organized. Okay. Oh, and then this was fun. Eve gave me this little tiny cover. And so I put an AOZA um, image on the front and put some little pockets, um, decorated the pockets, put some little tags and used AOZA's papers in it and just made this teeny tiny little journal. Oh, and this, um, let me see, I don't have it handy, but I told you prior to my retreat, I was going to do a paper pad project. So um, this is part of the paper pad. So this was my first little project for the paper pad project. And then, um, and then I did, I started this uh, new ephemera book, um, uh, ephemera folio that I've, I've shown how I make these before. And then I got the signatures already and everything, um, here, and I just need to put the vellum pockets on it and put those in, you know, get these pockets attached. And then I, um, I had this in my, uh, ephemera, from a happy mail. I just, I thought that was so cute. And I think I'm going to work with it on the cover. So this is another paper pad project project that's not done, but definitely in the works. So I'll stick that in there. And then I made some ephemera with that paper pad. I just thought, you know, I'm just going to get a little start on it. And I don't know, I probably used, eh, I use bits and pieces for these. So probably I used like maybe seven or eight pages from the paper pad. So I got a good start. So we'll revisit that in the days to come. But um, I made these tags and um, this is paper from the paper pad. And then I just put st straw paper on the back. Um, down here. Actually, the tag base is the paper from the paper pad, and I just collaged over the top of it. That's that's the back of the paper pad. That one I thought you could write on easily. So there. Um, and then, oh, and then this one, this is an embossed uh, envelope that I just put a little something on, and then I used the paper pad and just made a journaling card 
for on the inside. So that was another project with the paper pad. And then this one, um, I had an embossed, an embossed uh, envelope that I borrowed some paints and things from others and painted and stuff and then layered up and um, Eve gave me this little wander thing. And so um, there's a card on a little index card in the envelope and then I attached one of the pieces of the paper pad to the back to make a little flip in journal on the back. And um, just this is actually, this is one of Eve's photographs. She's a wonderful photographer, as is this. And so I used that on there. Um, so that was kind of, that was my paper pad project pile. And then I'll, sh I'll show you these. I used Eve's um, embosser to emboss a whole bunch of envelopes because she has these really cool 3D embossing pads and, from Spellbinders. And she said she doesn't think you can get them anymore. Um, so I, oh, that one didn't turn out very good, but but this one was, was super good. And so these were craft envelopes that I already had inked. So I went ahead and did those. Here was the other one that she had. Isn't that super cool? And Eve actually makes spines out of these, but I just, I just used them on envelopes. So I have a whole stack of these envelopes in coffee dye in various sizes and stuff that I embossed and can decorate and I did decorate a few so let me let me show you the other pile of ephemera that I did while I was there so this is this is one of the embossing folder ones that I borrowed ease for and then I just put a little Tracy Fox right there but oh I just love it love it um journaling card that I used a little of my lace in and a fussy cut image and just coffee dyed paper on the back. Um, I decided yesterday before we packed up, I wanted to do some, um, some more decorated bags. And so these two, I haven't done any, uh, anything except put the back pa uh, background paper on. But this one, I put one of my trims from one of my digitals. I put some I think these are Tracy Fox labels on that one. And then uh, my friend Lynn loaned me this mushroom stamp. And so I played with it on this sack. So those are some sacks that I embellished. Um, this is this is one of AOZA's beautiful watercolors. And I just layered it up. This little tiny stamp is from Dreams Etc. Had some... Um, dictionary page behind and then this is handmade paper from Sarah at the mushroom market here's one of AOZA's pieces and I just I just made kind of a little journaling folder there this I had to play with my new stamps from dreams etc and so I um, this was a Easter egg dyed or Kool-Aid dyed, I'm not sure which. It was from my friend Catherine Envelope that I stamped on and then I used colored pencils on, on my girl here. And then um, just have that in there. So, you know, I, I beefed up my, my stash again a little bit. And then this envelope, again, it has the embossing and I just had this with me and I just put that in the middle and I think that makes a beautiful envelope. Let's see. Oh, I made a little pocket. These were antique papery papers that I was collaging with and this is Tracy Fox. Love Junk Journals is her Etsy. And then I made a bunch of journal cards because I was just I was just collaging and just having fun just really was having fun so i have a bunch to use in journals now again it's like i took a bunch to use and used them in my traveler's notebooks and now i have a bunch more so it's 
so good. This is one of Roxy Creations uh, doilies. Little Edith Holden on this one. And then this was my friend uh, uh, Lynn had this bunny stamp. And so I, I stamped a bunch of images of it on straw paper. A little stamp from Dreams Etc. So that was my big batch of journal cards. Oh, and then, um, speaking of Rachel at Roxy Creations, she had done a project and I was like, I want to try that at the retreat. So she took a Daphne's diary page and then, um, she had it folded in fours and then on each fourth, she, um, she sewed some fabric like so, and then collaged over it. And, and then sewed the bottom to, so that it is actually two pockets, like so, like that. So, um, and then just collaged over the top and then on the inside is writing space. So that was fun. I did that one night and it was after cocktail hour. So, <laughs> so this is. The sewing might not be my best effort. Let's just say that. But, oh, we had so much fun. Eve was our designated cocktail maker, and she made us fancy, like, kind of like boat drinks, and it was just so much fun. And, you know, some of, we had virgin ones, and we had regular ones, and it was just a lot of fun. So this is just a tag that I stamped. I don't know. I was just in the midst of whatever. This is another one of those embossed envelopes that I just did some playing on. And um, this is one of Jen's Dreams, etc. She has a sheet of these little tiny stamps. And they're really nice for layering. So I did a little stamping on that with the script stamp that I got from her too. So that was fun. This is one of these side envelopes that was embossed and I just went over it with Distress Ink to bring out the embossing and then put a Tracy Fox there. Um, Tracy Fox again. Here's some of that um, drywall tape that I just layered the stamp on. It really looks cool. Then just to put a little something there and just do a little bit of, a little bit of stamping and so I've got that envelope. And then this last one, um, I used the embossed envelope and um, I used some of my Eve stamps, or Eve stamps, no, not Eve, Jen, Jen, at Dreams, etc. And I put coffee dyed paper and then just used one of my cabinet cards. Oh, this was, this was a treasure that Eve gave me. I forgot I put it in. I was working on this at the time and I put it in there for safekeeping. I need to put that with my other vintage stuff. Then it's got just a journaling card and I use that stencil on the back of this journaling card. Isn't that so cool? Um, the, the one that I told you I liked so much. So the, um, the cabinet card just slides down in there and then this is the back. I distress this was wild honey and then just put a sticker on it so so that's a fun little piece for an upcoming journal too so that's what i got done eight traveler's notebooks four circus journals a start on the paper pad project and a big old pile of ephemera so let me know how you think i did did i use my time wisely and all of that <laughs> So once again, thanks to all the lovely women that I spent the last five days with. It, you inspire me. You are wonderful friends. You make me laugh. You make me cry. It's just, it is the absolute best. And for those of you who are going to ask about retreats, I again, I give the same advice. Um, try and find some people that have your like interests, you know, Go to, go to classes, art classes uh, at an art gallery or a craft store or whatever to, to meet people who have your same interests that are in your area 
and then um and then also ask at craft stores if they know of any um any get togethers any retreats any crop weekends sometimes they're called things like that and then um if you can't find any in your area go ahead and create one that's what i did i created the junk journalers junket invitational retreat and it's once a year at the end of may and um i invite um i invite my friends and um junk journalers who you know all have the same passion we were all junk journaling and it was so fun because we just crossed inspired like crazy and um so right now uh all ladies are back in for next year for a week but um i do create a waiting list too and uh, it takes place in anaconda montana and we just have a ball i know there's one um terry rankin is is um has created her own and i think she has about 20 women coming um the house where i have mine is a is a house set up for crafters i do have a um a tour way back on my channel um but that all that to say um you know you could have it at a hotel you could whatever but um but yeah if you if you want to have a, a weekend or five days or a week like that just create your own and and invite some of your junk journaling friends from facebook even or whatever there's a lot of ways to do it i guess all that to say there's a lot of ways to do it and um I have to tell you this this retreat this time was absolutely everything I dreamed of. Um everybody just got along so great. Every, you know, everybody had wonderful times in small groups and we had wonderful times together at meals and there were, you know, there was laughter, there were tears, there was some cathartic things that happened. It was awesome. So, for all of you who wished me a great retreat thank you for all your good energy because it couldn't have been better so i hope you enjoyed seeing all the fruits <laughs> of the retreat and we will just see it in the next video thanks everyone bye bye